Jake. Hi. What's up, Jake? <laughs> You so cutting pizza party? It sounds like fun. Yeah. Do you have the prerequisite? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check later. This is based on something from a video game. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Aaron doesn't know what it is, but I know it's not going to look right. But I made it because you were coming over. It is video game themed, and I want to see if it looks anything like it's supposed to. And if you can guess it, I'm really nervous because <laughs> I even had this so much planned in my head, but I know it's not going to look right. Okay. Well, things don't go as we want them always, especially in art. Wow. <laughs> what do you think that is? We'll keep cutting, but what do you think that's supposed to My be? My first thought was Tetris, but it's probably not. It's not Tetris. Load Runner? No. Andros? See, Freak out. See, <laughs> let's see if I can help you. See, we got... Combat. We got little dots on each side. It's square, and it's supposed to be square. Pong. Oh, I know what it is. What? It's, the, it's a question mark block. Yes! You what? got it! Yes, it's a question mark oh, block. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. Good job, yeah. Jake. Aaron, how are you setting it up? So that's like how I used to play it growing up. So we don't know who wins till the very end. Is it still up B? Yes. If you go high enough, you can go straight through the stage, but... You better. mean up from the bottom? Yeah, it's better to just grab How do you get the machete? It's not a machete. It's a <laughs> what is it? It's a fan. Oh. It's a hot fire. <laughs> you went to the egg before I died. Who won, who won, who won? Me, I bet. Good job, me. Yoshi. How'd you know it was Yoshi? It's the egg. Oh. How do you do that? Yeah. How do you throw something? L. It's not L, it's, it's R. What? No, it's L. It's R. <laughs> I use L to throw. That's R. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me turn it. R because right side of controller. I got this one in the bag. I think Jake won. I got it probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did probably. Money. What does that do? Hurt you? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to collect it. <laughs> Ooh, a thing. What's it do? Yeah, if you hit it's it. It's a bumper. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can Pikachu, Pikachu double dash in this one? Yep. Just harder? I need double dash. If you do your up B and then hit a direction right after, you can do it twice. Oh. Oh, I just did it, see that? Yeah. Look at that, I'm smart. <laughs> I can't move with it, so I got to drop it here. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do it too, Jake. Hey, it's a uh, Corrigan. Yeah. Corrigan? Corrigan. I bet you I won that one. I bet you I lost that one. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Mary. 
I was not good for that. Look at how good Aaron, your score is not found. Oh, four, four. <laughs> that's cute. That's Shauna. That's a Shauna joke. You did six better than me. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen nominations for Game of the Year awards? I have not. That's but not, I would like to hear them. That's not very impressive. They're all the best selling games of this yeah, year. The AAA games are So, like, the nominees are Doom Eternal, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Hades, Ghost of Tsushima, and Last of Us 2. Like, I like Ghost of Tsushima, and I know I'm going to like Doom Eternal, and I do like Animal Crossing, but holy... Oh, well, they usually only have five or six for Game of the Year. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? I think if you're going to do nominations, there should be at least ten. You forgot Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Did you like that game? I loved it. I like it better than the original. Ah, why? Because it's not an RPG. So... You mean they changed the gameplay? Yeah. What is it? It's it plays like Kingdom Hearts, except way more in depth and not s stupid simple. I beat it pretty much as soon as I got it. Played it nonstop until I beat it. The well, Last of Us Part Two shouldn't even be on there. I think it's gonna win personally. Really? I do because it got so much bad publicity from the general public. I think critics are gonna give it Game of the Year. Do you know that the way they decide Game of the Year nominations is ninety percent of it is just a pre-selected jury and only ten percent is for the popular vote? Just so people don't mass vote something to be like we do sometimes mm -hmm. how we mass something <laughs> that's probably exactly why the best fighting game nominations are terrible did you hear king of fighters 15 is going to be announced soon they had a trailer for it yeah i mean it was just pencil drawings yeah but... <laughs> I have been playing a lot of a game that I didn't know I would like so much called Slay the Spire. Yeah, that's an awesome game. I love that game. I didn't think you liked card games. I, I didn't. Card games. I don't like card games, but for some reason, it's a heavy addiction. My goal is after I beat Chrono Trigger, I'm going to play Final Fantasy VII because many people call it one of the greatest games of all time, and I've never touched it. I don't even, what? Know, I don't even know what it looks like. Well, you might not be very impressed by the graphics, but still. <laughs> I like the I, graphics. I'm easily impressed when I think of it from the time period. The music is ins incredible. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pre-rendered backgrounds, right? Mm -hmm. Best game direction. So it's Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Half-Life Alex, and The Last of Us Part Two. Wow, they even include Doom Eternal in that one. It's like, nope, we don't like your directing side. Interesting. I think Half-Life Alex was really, really cool for what it was. I like think it's, so too. It's probably the most in-depth VR game that's out right now. I want a VR VR headset so I can play it. VR is amazing. I really want them to make a Sims VR. If right. I Where a, you can make your own house and then go to it and live in it. That would be cool. Best narrative. 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, and Last of Us Part Two. I think it's going to be Last of Us Part What's II. Hades? That's it's, the Greg Kasavin's game from Super Giant. I think it's going to be Hades. <laughs> I've never played it, so, and I don't think I would want to play it. You don't like isometric games? No, I hate them. Why? They're just not fun for me. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, best art direction. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and Last of Us Part Two. I bet Ghost of Tsushima. I don't think Ghost of Tsushima's gonna win anything, I really don't. Ori is really, really good looking. I, I would probably I say think it Why is the last of us on every one of these lists? That game is ugly. The game is ugly. It's, Why would it be even be nominated? Brown and gray. <laughs> All right, here we go. Best score in music. Oh, that's gonna totally be Final Fantasy VII. Yep. Doom Eternal. Oh, never mind. Mick Gordon. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Actually, I still think it's gonna be Final Fantasy VII Remake. Didn't Hades. Mick Gordon's already won an award. Ori and the Will of the Wisps and Last of Us Part Two. They're not gonna get. Last of Us has paid to be on every nomination. Yeah, probably. There's no way. <laughs> I'm thinking that more and more. Alright, best audio design. I like that this is a category. Doom Eternal, Half-Life Alex, Ghost of Tsushima, Resident Evil 3, and Last of Us Part 2. Uh, I bet Doom Eternal's gonna win that one. I agree. For audio design. I bet it'll be. Although, Half-Life Alex has really good sound design in terms of, like, immersion. Best performance. It's gonna be Last of Us Part 2. There is, I, I can already tell you there's more than one character from Last of Us Part 2 in this nomination. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. It's going to be Ellie from Last of Us Part 2. Okay. I just know it. So, Ashley Johnson as Ellie. Laura Bailey as Abby from Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, the one that everyone hates. Whatever his name is as Gene Sakai, Ghost of Tsushima. 
Uh, Logan, voice acting wasn't that good. Logan Cunningham as Hades, Naji Jeter as Miles Morales in Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Games for impact for a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message. If found, <laughs> Kentucky Route Zero TV edition, Spiritfarer, I've heard of that. Tell me why and through the darkest of times. It's gonna be Spiritfarer. Yeah, probably. I dislike every game on this next category. What? Best ongoing. Games that continuously lot, get updates and more content. Like yeah. like Apex Legends, Tekken Overwatch, 7. Tekken 7, yeah, that stuff. So the nominations are Apex Legends, Destiny 2, yeah. Call of Duty Warzone, uh, Fortnite, and uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, Why would you do that for No Man's Sky? No Man's Sky is the only one on there that I would consider. I like that game. Next category is Best Indie. <clears throat> Carry On, Fall Guys, Hades, Splunky 2, and Spiritfarer. It's going to be Hades. This category is best mobile game, but two of these games didn't even come out this year. I know. They did. You'll see more of that. There's more of that on there. Among Us and Call of Duty Mobile both came out. 2018. COD Mobile came out last year, but Among Us came out two years ago. I don't know I why they're on I there. I said the exact same thing when I saw that. I was like, you can't do that. Best community support. I'd like to see this. Uh, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Fall Guys, Fortnite, No Man's Sky, and Valorant. No Man's Sky came out in 2016. They fixed it last year, though, because mm -hmm. it was really bad when it came out. This next thing is an interesting category. Best VR slash AR. Dreams, Half-Life Alex, Marvel's Iron Man VR, Star Wars Squadrons, and The Walking Dead Saints. It's a, yeah, that's totally Half-Life Alex. Star Wars Squadrons doesn't even have very good VR. Innovation and accessibility. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Grounded, Hyper Root, Last was Part 2, and Watch Dogs Legion. All right, next category. Best action. Damn. Doom Eternal, Hate Hades, Half-Life Alex, Neo 2, and Streets of Rage 4. Interesting. I don't know why they put Hades on there. Because Hades uh, is extreme action. Yeah, but isometric is stupid. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the view. All right, best action adventure. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Star Wars Jedi that, Fallen that Order. That confuses me because Ori and the Will of the Wisps should be platformer, not action adventure. True. No action one, platformer, no one, I guess it no would be one, under. Every platformer is an action platformer. If it, there's no yeah, platforming, it's not action. Well, yeah, no. but some games have <clears throat> platforming, but it's not necessarily action. How do you jump without creating an action? Well, duh, but like... <laughs> <laughs> action implies like... Some sort of fast-paced gameplay. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Ori, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and Last of Us Part Two. Best role-playing. Why is Final Fantasy VII Remake on? I guess it has RPG elements, but because every because you can't have Final Fantasy without having RPG. Yeah, but it's more of an ARPG. I wouldn't. Most ARPGs are isometric, though. It's still an RPG. It's not isometric. Isn't the category RPG? RPG? Yeah, best role-playing. Anyway, what their Final Fantasy VII Remake, Genshin Impact, Persona 5 Royal, Wasteland 3, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. Why in the world do they think it's okay for Persona 5 to just basically like release an upgrade edition of itself with some extra content, and that's enough to make it qualify as a new game? Because it technically released as a new game. So if I made a game, say like I made this platformer, so I made a game four years ago, and then I decide, oh, I'm going to add some extra levels to it. I'm going to make it, instead of playing as a man, you can also play as a woman and maybe throw in some soundtrack in there. And then, boom, I can get nominated for Game of the Year. Well, that's, that's almost like Pokemon games, right? It's, no, because it's a completely new game. Whenever they make a Pokemon game, it's a completely new Pokemon game. Uh, not necessarily when, it, when they do it the two. new towns, new towns, new dialogue. Well, they have when they do the two, and then they make yeah. a deluxe version of the two. The deluxe version would be a new game, even though it's mostly the same. Because you got people who worked really hard to create an original idea, and then you got these other people who are like, okay, let's just add stuff to what's already there, and then we get nominated. I don't see how that's fair. You said best fighting games are bad. I know the category sucked. Name each one of them, and I'll tell you why I think they're bad. Grand Blue Fantasy versus terrible netcode, really boring, generic-looking characters, and the fighting in it is. Boring. I know why you're gonna say this next one is bad. What? Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. It's just a deluxe version. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just put two characters on there. Boom. Game of the year. One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. Nobody liked that game. It should not be nominated. Undernight Inbirth EXE Late CLR. Guess what? The only change that they had from the previous Undernight game, they added one character. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hate that category. Best family game. Animal Crossing New Horizons, Crash 4, Fall Guys. When I say family game, it's just family friendly? Yeah. Okay. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, Minecraft Dungeons, and Paper Mario Origami King. It's gonna be Animal Crossing hands down. I want to pick Crash 4, though. <laughs> yeah. Because that Crash game is 4. really, really good. It could be Crash 4. I've heard good things about Crash. Crash 4 is probably one of the most torturous games to complete 100%, but it's fun to play through once. Mm -hmm. Didn't that game get made by Toys for Bob? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Toys for Bob are the people who made Star Control 1 and 2. Actually, I want to double check that fact. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. What's Mist doing? What's Mist doing? What, what the? in the world? What's, why is Mist and Sega Smash Pack in there? Where did we get Sega Smash Pack? I don't know. <laughs> I could have swore I saw in here Toys for Bob and I'm not seeing it, so. Best Sim slash strategy. Crusader Kings 3. Nope. Desperados 3. Nope. Gears Tactics. I actually am interested in that game. I'm not a Gears of War fan, but I think that oh, I just like this. Tactics. Microsoft Flight Simulator and XCOM Chimera Squad. No. I like XCOM, but I thought Chimera Squad looked terrible. Honestly, I would say Flight Simulator. Probably because they haven't made a Flight Simulator in like 20 years. Yeah. Do you know how much space this one takes up? Like 120 gigabytes. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> Which doesn't make sense because... Because it gets its data from servers. Yes. Hmm. It uses Google Maps to create 3D images when you fly over it. I think and that's really cool. You have to, it is really cool. I want to fly over my house. I bet that's what everybody does. I've yeah. been I've been yeah. tempted to get it, but it takes up so much space. It's free on Game Pass. It is. Best sports racing. Sports slash racing. Dirt 5. F1 2020. I've always wanted to get into Dirt. If there was one racing game I would get into, it'd be Dirt. FIFA 21. Same, actually. NBA 2K21 and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 plus 2. I feel like a lot of people are going to pick Tony Hawk. You know what frustrates me about that? So I grew up playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I love the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games. And people say those are actually really, really good. But one of the things I heard that people don't seem to complain about, but it sounds awful to me, is that in the original Tony Hawk games, it was fun to 100% every single character because you got some kind of award. If you beat the game with like Tony Hawk, at the end of the credits, it would play a Tony Hawk video, a live action montage of real Tony Hawk clips on the, of him skating. In that game, though, it doesn't matter who you choose. If you beat it once with one character, it's unlocked for all the other characters. Well, I'm sure so people like gonna... it just because of nostalgia and gameplay. Yeah. But that's so frustrating because it's like, well, why would I want to play this game again when I beat it once with Tony Hawk? Well, and another thing about this is that this one is moddable. Is this it? one has mod support, yeah. Oh, that's cool. The next category is best multiplayer, and Animal Crossing is on it. I disagree. Addie was going to say the same thing. It Among could, Us... It could be awesome if they would let you. Yeah. Among Us, again, came out in 2018. Yeah, 2018. Not fair. Call of Duty Warzone, mm -hmm. Fall Guys, okay, and Valorant. Best esports game? Please. Oh. What's, what's it? What's our options? League of Legends? Call of Duty Modern Warfare, That's... CSGO, Fortnite, League of Legends, and Valorant. Fortnite? Is it esports? Yeah, I guess. How come they don't have any of those really cool categories like they used to back in 2010, like best game that nobody ever played or surprisingly good game of the year? Those categories were awesome. These categories are so generic. Yeah, I think Last of Us Part Two is going to take about half of these just because it's Last of Us Part Two. Mm -hmm. When is it? 10th of December. Is it the 10th? Yep, same day that Cyberpunk 2077 comes out. They've hyped that it's game been up. nothing so. but hype. I wish Naughty Dog would make a good game again. What's the last game they made? The last was part two. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's it. It's over. Because I think Crash 4 is the best Crash game ever made. Who made it? Toys for, Toys for Bob. Oh, wow. Do I have a good memory? I you... thought Toys for Bob did all the Star Control games, but then when I looked on that box, because that's where I thought I read it. I thought I read it in the manual on that box, but I couldn't find it again. Toys for Bob did Spyro, Reignited, yeah. Skylanders, Tony Hawk Downhill Jam, okay. Madagascar Escape to Africa, okay. Madagascar, Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure, 102 Dalmatians, Mojoko Kado Daikatsikin, <laughs> The Unholy War, Pandemonium, The Horde, Star Control 2. Yes! I knew not, I not on that box, I huh? don't know. It says Alkalate on the box. Star Control 2 is their first game. They developed Star Control 4 Accolade. Oh. Oh. Do you like JRPGs? I want to say I do, but every time I play one, it doesn't take very long for me to get bored. My problem with JRPGs is I enjoy myself, I'm like, okay, then. 
I figured out something I want to play. What? Mario RPG. Okay. I will anyway. we'll get it off the laptop. Let me say my thought. Go. Because <laughs> I relate. So when I play JRPG, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. And then I take a week break. Oh, yeah. And then I go back and I'm like, I have no idea. You really have to where commit. I am. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I can't finish a single Final Fantasy game. I have an issue. Me too. Um. That's so. I know this game's soundtrack is made by like a, a rock band. What the? Whoa. Oh, these controls are weird. This angle business. Yeah, ah. it's isometric. It's Jake's favorite angle. Oh my goodness, this feels weird. It does feel strange. Turning right when you're actually turning left. Ouch! I just exploded you. Yeah, I'm on the bottom. This is like isometric Mario Kart. It's kind of cool. Sean, if you ever get worms, a worms game. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? I've never played worms. It's like Gunbound. Okay, I'd love to play. Dang it! Yeah, I hear it too, Aaron. <laughs> he is right there. The king is exalted on high. <laughs> this is very confusing. Yeah, it is. It takes some adjusting. This is like Resident Evil controls, but a racing game. <laughs> Wordtress. The classic game of... Uh, <laughs> this is a strange menu. <laughs> it is a strange menu. So are we playing together? I guess. Competitive, it says. What? Oh, oh, I am playing. Uh, um, <laughs> Sack. Row. La. <laughs> Papura. Ill. This is a word. Yes. No. My favorite, my favorite part is this tiger screen. Yeah. Everything else I don't like about this. <laughs> but now we know what it is. Don't we? Yeah, stupid. Oh my goodness, it's two player. Oh. That is some flashing business. Oh. More stunts give you bigger boosts. This is quite the game. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's almost like Sonic. I guess you don't need that blast processing because it's blasting all over here. What are you doing now, Aaron? I'm playing Shadowrun for the Super Nintendo. Cool. I didn't know such a game like this could exist on a Super Nintendo. It's a CRPG for Super Nintendo. Ah. Hello? Hi, Jake. Hi. Give me a hug. I love you. I love you, dog. I had a lot of fun. Hi, Hi Jake. Hi. Enjoy listening to your music and playing soap. It was a good time. Making soap. Cutting soap is my favorite. <laughs> and wordtress. <laughs>